Hi, once again, you're back here with old Barry, and I want to do a short video pertaining to, uh, first of all, appreciating all the comments and emails coming in since I uh, started to uh, put out a few more videos again. Thank you. It really means a lot, uh, the people that do uh, spend a few minutes with me and uh, try to absorb what I'm trying to get across. Anyway, it gives me no pleasure to say it, but um, I did mention several times I'm going to start hearing uh, a lot, and you are too, about people with bad side effects from what they've done. And uh, I'm getting several emails about it. I'm getting comments on the uh, YouTube channels. And while it's humbling that uh, people still listen to what I'm saying, it is I share your grief. Uh, it's affected Leanne and I with, uh, with our families as well. So it's done what it was designed to do, but I still have a lot of people emailing me uh, about which one is better, which vax is better versus the other, or which one people took, or which one's good if you need to take one and you have to. Okay, completely missing the point. The point is if you are forced to put something into your body that you choose not to by some elected official, some government entity, or some corporation. You are being abused, period. It is your body. You say what goes into it. If you're right and you make decisions, you will be rewarded. If you make an error in your choice, you will be disciplined. But it should be your choice. It should have nothing to do with others forcing you. You need uh, the ones, and I commended already in a previous video, the ones that stood the ridicule and everything. Well, look who suddenly is getting sick. Look at how adult sudden death syndrome is soaring. Look at how, and these are from subscribers I got that work in hospitals or live in certain areas. This is boots on the ground, guys. This ain't, this ain't fluff, all right? We have people in emergency wards claiming that upwards of 40% increases on what they term working age adults, okay? 18 through 50 is coming through the roof with heart issues, with stroke issues, blood pressure issues, fainting, uh, death, uh, not able to sleep well, a completely different change in personality, on and on and on. People, the point is, as a collective, most of us have given away one of our most crucial responsibilities as human beings. And that responsibility is, it's your duty to do research on anything that is important. Not to depend on what comes to your cell phone, to your YouTube, to your computer, or through anything else. It takes research. And a lot of people have bought in to the propaganda because it's so convenient when it just comes to your cell phone or it comes to your, cons your, your computer screen and they have fallen victim to it, okay? So the issue is that and the second big part of it is when are we ever going to group together as people and not as a particular religion or a color or a sexual preference? These are all the effects of what propaganda has caused. Until we could recognize this, we are going to be going down a slippery slope and the few that have prepared and the few that have things put aside and the few that are in sparse areas are going to favor better. This is not going away until we recognize and we start for once in history doing our independent research, not relying on what public media, dig deep. The news is out there, it's possible, it's why I started something feels wrong. I have boots on the ground everywhere. So all you good folks that are telling me which vaccine is better or how sad you are for children, grandchildren, family, friends who are making mistakes, I share 
but there's only so much you can do. It's affected Leanne and I also, and the emails coming in with people now that have illnesses, for lack of a better word on this, and that have been diagnosed with issues post-injections, all I could say is I'm sorry, it, I feel bad for you, but at the end of it, whose responsibility is it? Okay, we'll continue further. I just wanted to say it's good to be back and please recognize this is one of the most imperative points to why we're crumbling. We have given our responsibility that takes time and I never said it was fun to do, but it's a responsibility to do independent research and we've handed it to other people and look at us now. We'll talk again, it's Barry.